Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Nathan. In this How To, I will discuss an introduction to NoSQL. This YouTube will cover what is a NoSQL database? Why would you use a NoSQL database? Types of NoSQL database. The differences between NoSQL databases and relational databases. And the use of NoSQL in business intelligence. So, what is a NoSQL database? NoSQL stands for Not Only SQL. The term was coined in 1998 and again in 2009. There are many different types of NoSQL databases that have been created between 1998 and 2009. NoSQL databases askew the idea of relational tables in databases and relating data types in those tables to each other in favor of increased scalability and working with large volumes of data. So basically NoSQL has no tables, keys, rows, that sort of thing, and the ability to scale large volumes of data across a distributed system which can be scaled horizontally easier relative to relational databases. Why would you use a NoSQL database? So NoSQL is most useful in working with a huge quantity of data where that data doesn't need to fit into a relational data model. So maybe Twitter could be a good place to use NoSQL. Or a blog comment system. Or maybe even Facebook. There are many, many different types of NoSQL database. You've got the document store type of database where instead of rows in a table, basically each document is a row in itself. So in this case, a document isn't something like a Word doc or an Excel spreadsheet. A document really literally just means a row with different values. You can have a graph database type which is consisted of nodes that can be linked to each other and you have a key value store which is I suppose the closest to like a relational database where every row has its own key value and that key value is propagated amongst every single server that the database is distributed across. So for the document store databases the most popular ones seem to be Apache, Couch, DB, MongoDB, Oracle NoDB database. For graph databases, the most popular ones seem to be DEX, Infinite Graph, and for key value store, the most popular ones seem to be Apache Cassandra, Project Voldemort, and Amazon Dyn Dynamo DB. So some quick differences between NoSQL and relational databases are, as I stated before, NoSQL databases don't have any concept of rows, tables, that sort of thing, and they're easier to scale horizontally. Other things to note are, the scaling is mostly done through the replication of data across servers and or partitions for NoSQL. Most NoSQL databases do not allow deletes and updates. NoSQL databases don't use joins for their selects and stuff like that. And NoSQL also doesn't use SQL to pull data out of the database. It's mostly the various different coding languages like C or Java. NoSQL database transactions can't give full ACID guarantees. And NoSQL databases do not support ad hoc queries. NoSQL and business intelligence. NoSQL is still very much a new technology and use of NoSQL working with business intelligence is very slim. Mostly it's just custom code that works with custom NoSQL databases. New products for working with NoSQL and BI together may come out in the future, but for the moment if you want to use BI with a NoSQL database, 
you're going to want to export your data in a NoSQL database to a relational database. This was an introduction to NoSQL. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.